been a mass shooting every day this month, according to the Gun Violence Archive. And today, Banner University Medical Center staff prepared for the worst during an active shooter training. News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish is live at Banner University Medical Center South, explaining just what happened there today. Gabrielle. Now, if you pass by Banner Hospital today, you might have noticed a lot of police here. But don't worry, nothing serious was going on. There was just a training for hospital staff members just in case an active shooter comes inside the hospital and starts to shoot. We have seen an uptick as a country in active killer situations. That's exactly why Banner Hospital is taking extra steps to prepare its staff as they practice for the worst case scenario today. We constantly and consistently train in person to run, hide, fight. Denise Wisman helped organize this full-scale active shooter training. She says hospital staff approached the training with a willingness to learn safety procedures. I think it was generally a feeling of nervousness. We haven't seen it in a while. We don't know what it's going to look like. Um, but again, it's something that they've asked for for a long time. They were ready uh, to stretch their legs on this. Um, and I think now we're all feeling a little more prepared. Employees learn procedures such as run, hide, fight, communications, and trauma and emergency department responses to an active shooter. We write plans and then we exercise those plans um, on different levels. Identify those holes, fix the plans, and it all starts again, right? That emergency management cycle. Um, so there are always areas to improve on. No now, this sort of training is crucial when you consider that there have already been more than 160 mass shootings this year in America. Keep in mind, everyone, we're only in day 106 in this year. Reporting live from the South Side, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.